I totally agree. I also think they fought. There's a vibe. Read this screen. This is like the intro to the video, right? I was having a, wait, I'll do it in her voice. I was having a mentally hard day when I made this video. So I was kind of quiet. I chose to upload it anyway, as it is okay to sometimes not be okay. Bitch, you're never okay. You chose to upload it anyway, even though it's going to suck because you make this the only way you, you make your money. So whether you're in the mood, whether you're not, whether the content is worth a damn or not, you have to upload that shit for the money. If you are going through a hard time, please keep going because things will get better. Also, this video was from a couple of days ago, so I'm doing better. Tee -hee. Number one, no one cares. <laughs> this, what is she now, a motivational speech? If you're going through a hard time, please keep going because things will get better. Shut up. No one wants to hear that from you. Seven years I've been watching you. Nothing's gotten better. It's gotten crazier. It's gotten worse. Better? I don't think so. So you're not the one to be preaching that at people. Just saying. KFC, so therefore I'm going to eat KFC, okay? So I have some, uh, it's like a box of stuff. Some chicken strips. Couple of twisters. And this meal comes with a Pepsi, and I have some loaded fries, cheese, and jalapeno on them. And so, yeah, this is like the twister. I think we have those in Canada. But I think these ones use the lace chips tenders. <laughs> okay. She's in such a down bad mood, but you still see she gets so excited when she unwraps the food that like hee hee hee. Tweety, yeah, right? Eating healthy, I see. That's a meal for two people. Again, you know how you can tell that's a meal for two people? First of all, there's two fucking sandwiches there. No one eats two sandwiches. She's about to pull chicken out too. And she's gonna pull a mysterious thing of fries out of nowhere and dump more fries on top of that bucket of fries. Yeah, that's not a meal for one person. Actually, it might be a meal for three. That bucket could be for two people plus the two sandwiches. And then she's got the chicken strips and another fry. She has a meal for three people and a regular Pepsi. Wow. Comes with more fries too. I like when she she does something fat like that and then smiles at the camera like you're cute. Girl, we don't care. You can fat ass out all day. It's not our heart or fatty liver, you know? Do what you want to do. Just mix it. Okay. Bismillah. Beauty bike. all the fries that she can possibly fit into her mouth. You tell me that doesn't look like a snake unhinging its jaw. Beauty bike. My God. There's no one there. Nobody's coming to take the food. Salad's not even home. Come on, you know that. You're locked in. He's at the red room. No one's coming to take it away from you. Why do you take bites that big? Don't tell me big bites is part of the mukbang thing. I don't care. This isn't like the year 2000 and I don't even know when those kind of mukbangs were popular. This is disgusting. Watching a 400 pound plus depressed woman locked in a cell stuffing the biggest bites that she can into her face is fucking depressing. F wait, wait. FFG, do we think she's sitting on the floor because she thinks she'll break the couch? Oh. I hadn't really thought of that. I thought it's for the angle of the food because if she's sitting up on the uh, on the couch, we wouldn't be able to see the food. And, you know, when the food is this nasty looking, you got to make sure the people can see it. Mm. One's spicy and one's non-spicy. So, 
Um, let's just leave it at this. <laughs> if you see me, you know, eating something that I said I wouldn't eat, just know that I've probably, you know, obviously just caved. Are we supposed to be surprised? Let's just leave it at this, girl. We know. We know. This is how you've lived your life for years. All you do is cave. When do you not cave? I had actually forgot that she had even said she was going to start eating well and going to uh, the gym again. And I swear, I forgot completely because she says it so often and there's never any follow through. It's just like, I don't know, another time it's been said. Nobody's surprised that you're eating KFC for three. Anyway. Hmm. Hey, Ben. Happy birthday. I hope you're having a great birthday so far. Birthday weekend, too. Hey, enjoy your birthday weekend, girl. Feeling tired. Right now. Okay. Let's figure this one out. They clearly had a fight, in my opinion. I don't know what you guys think. I think they had a fight. This is the vibe. Every time they have a fight, she seems down. There's a new car. They seem to have had a fight. What's going on? Hallway kid. No. <laughs> Apartment kid. Oh, those fries look so nasty. It's so mushy. It's, that's just a bowl of mush. KFC fries suck. Fight me. Anyway, is my camera shaking? Probably. Mm. These are the best cheese fries, I swear. Jesus Christ. Girl, you, you can't take bites like that. You can't. You're locked in the... Oh, God, she looks evil. She's locked in there. Locked from the outside in. Yeah? If you choke on those bites, girl, there's nobody going to save you. The cat's going to eat your face. People are noisy today. Hmm. and aims it at the camera and what do we see what looks like just a chicken tender wrapped with a pita absolutely nothing visually appealing about the food ever ever the entire trip of kuwait nothing has looked good before she went to kuwait nothing looked good you pick the nastiest food and you have the nerve to sit there like it's a real mukbang girl part of mukbangs is making the food look like Good. You know, I'm not talking about Nick Accato. I'm talking about Zach. Okay. A major part of why he's not disgusting to me is how good his food looks all the time. I wouldn't even waste the fucking calories on that thing. I'd be like, where's the Cholula? I said, where's something? Where's the lettuce for fuck's sake? I don't know what's on it. Some kind of yummy sauce. Tastes like a peppercorn sauce. No dip sauce for it. <laughs> she had barely swallowed. She's still chewing and now she's holding up the next thing right to her face. Barely fucking swallowed. Oh God. The green chula. Oh my God. Yeah, Nam. I love that green chalula. That's, I think, my favorite one. Mm. Chicken tenders are on the list of my favorite foods. Because you're a toddler.
Oh, this is an exceptionally boring fuck all one. I'm skipping ahead. Let's see if it changes. I feel very talkative. Like on days when I feel like this, I don't even really check what's up. <laughs> But you're still making a video. You're too what quiet. You're too down today to check WhatsApp, but you made sure to make the video. Why? No one wants to see this. Even in what you would call your like top form mukbangs, they're boring as hell and you're not doing anything. And people still don't want to watch it. Why the hell would you post this? And don't give me that bullshit that she put at the beginning, like because he, he, like you should talk about the bad days and blah blah blah. Shut up. Shut up. Her whole seven years on YouTube has been bad days. We didn't need this. She did. And those close to me know. No one's close to you. That's part mm. of the problem. The last thing I had seen that they posted on that uh, couple's channel was like, meet our new family member. So I certainly did not click on that video. I don't give a damn about the cat content. I don't care. And uh, I think there's only about 6,000 something video uh, views on that video. I had seen just before it, when I opened my YouTube, it was there. Hold on. Let me double check. Uh, salad. Uh, here it is. Yeah. Okay, the cat video six days ago, the clickbait of the new cat, 6,700 views. So again, even her, I don't know, her biggest plays now at like clickbait and getting some views and blah, 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 6,700. Absolute fail. Spicy food. Okay, wait, Sonia, okay, I, I don't know. Again, I, I really don't know much about Twitch at all. But I know if you have Prime, you can sub and you don't have to pay anything. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think if you get Prime, you have one Twitch subscription a month that you can do for free. But I wouldn't even know how. So, but I'm pretty, like, don't pay. If you have Prime, you can do it for free. I know I haven't been busy much. Don't worry. I'll try. Aha. The app does not let you do it through Prime. Sneaky, sneaky. All right. So if I could do it through Amazon, then you subbed with Prime. Thank you. Oh, Nem knows. Nem knows. <laughs> yes. If you click the sub on here at the bottom, there's an option for Prime sub. Okay. That's cool. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> a free sub every month? I thought it was one month period. Oh, shit, I'm going to have to fix that. Um, I thought you get one free one a month. Again, I have no idea. I'm only subbed to Radplad. Radplad is the... Oh, I'm not even subbed. I'm sorry, Radplad. I'm... Fo what, follow? I follow Radplad only on Twitch and it's my the only person I follow. I have subbed to no one, but that's rude. Next time Radplad when you're live, I will sub to you. I didn't mean it like shade like that. I just I never have used the 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 Twitch like that and I don't have Amazon Prime. I know. I'm like the only person alive. No Prime, no uh, fucking YouTube Premium. You know my brother makes fun of me for those two things. I'll never pay for either one of them. Try to fit in a good ease. Ah, okay.
okay. When you sub through Prime, you have to renew it every month, but you can still get that free sub every month. It's not just like one month that they let you do it. Every month, you just have to keep re-subbing. Ah, your boy, Jimmy, thanks for explaining. So, okay, the free month thing is month to month. You have to renew it monthly. And you can only sign up through the, wait, through the Twitch desktop, not the Twitch app. Oof, that's so complicated. Y'all are so clever. Thank you, your boy, Jimmy. I love all of you. Julia is sleeping in a box. Cats love boxes, huh? Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> There's Prime on YouTube? Those are two, I don't think, I no, I don't think one has to do with the other. I think you can only use the Prime on Twitch because like Amazon owns Twitch. And so that works here. But Amazon has nothing to do with YouTube. I don't think Prime and YouTube, like, I don't think you, you know what I mean? Like the, I'm so confused right now, but I don't think <laughs> having anything to do with Amazon helps you with anything in YouTube. I had Prime on YouTube. I could totally be wrong. I, listen, this whole, I fucking hate technology. I miss the 90s. I don't understand any of this stuff, and it took me a year to do emotes. I'm just going to press play on the video. I can't help anyone. Uh, I want to cry. She's so small. So, I keep teetering on, like, do I want to try driving here? Who cares? So, no, I swear, this is. Uh, I know that we say this a lot on this channel, okay? Or on the YouTube, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? This may be the worst thing that she's ever posted, ever. And I really mean that. Yeah, your boy, Jimmy, that's a great question. Why would she post this? She edited it. I've seen multiple cuts in this. That means she put the time in to listen to this back, watch this back, edit certain things out of it. How the fuck could you watch this back and go, yeah, you know what? That's a video. I'm going to put it up on my channel on my dying channel that I'm doing anything I can to get some views on. In my opinion, when you're trying to build something back up like that, you got to be careful what you put out. You can't, you can't just upload things like this. You piss people off with stuff like this. And then maybe they don't click on the next one. You have to make sure everyone is at least up to your horrific standards. And this this is not, this is the worst thing that you've ever uploaded on your channel. I'm not watching any more of this. There's nothing going on. They've clearly had some kind of a fight. He's left her again to stuff her face while he goes to fuck some rando at the red room or his girlfriend or God only knows. Point is, this one's stuffing holes again, trying to cope and seethe. Stay mad, bitch. Tell us about the fight. Or, I don't know, come out and rage at somebody. You can't just sit there eating food for three people, barely saying a word. You don't, No, 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 no. Even for you, this is pathetic. If I normally give them zeros out of 10, this is like a minus 50 out of 10. No, no, no. No, and good luck with your dying channel, ma'am. Wow, that was boring. Okay, at least we dipped. That's only a few minutes of our lives lost that we're never going to get back. It could have been worse. Chantal, oh my God, the audacity to think that the reaction channels need her. Need her for what? That content? I don't fucking think so, bro. I don't think so. Okay, <clears throat> it's time to get our heads out of this gutter of Kuwait and go back to the better times. And by better times, I mean 
BB's apartment, back living in Gatineau. We still have hair. We may be sooting it up, but we're actually still trying. Um, I, the beginning of her YouTube channel, all right? We're going to start with her first mukbang. This video is from February 16th, 2017. It's called Eating Show, Cheesy Lasagna, Cheeseburger, and Zucchini. Let me get the tab. Hey guys, oh, sorry, I'm just like having a really bad time right now. I'm hangry, like I have not eaten a single thing in forever. Uh, same sort of words though, eh? She looks different, it's a different surrounding, but same, same Chantal. Bambi, the beginning, uh, have you ever seen Chantal, like 2017 Chantal? Sooty Chantal, look, she used to do the nails, yes, the talons! The ham talons, exactly. I used to call them the talons. She would always get them in that shape. And I, she used to stab at food with them and stuff. They were always nasty. She was always picking the food out from under them and like licking the food out from behind them and stuff. The talons and their ham colored. This was such a, like an era. And I'm really hangry, <laughs> bitchy. So today I have a mukbang for you. So get your food, get your drinks, and join me on this first official mukbang for my channel. So I have some zucchini sticks, kind of soggy, but whatever, and sour cream. <laughs> I have a burger, and I have some lasagna that I'll get into and eat a little bit of, and big old glass of big old jar of h2o <laughs> so let me just fix that i need to like a better setup but that will come that will come so finally getting to she's always been horrible with the editing did you see the cut the cut in the middle of a sentence She's wiggling mm. her talons at us. And my eyeliner's everywhere, but whatever. <laughs> so how are you all doing? Hmm. It's amazing in a way though, eh? Think about how much is different in this video versus like what we watch now with her. She's got hair. She's doing her makeup. She's got a boyfriend. He doesn't need papers. She does her nails. She's eating on a plate. She lives in a totally different place. Da -da -da. Um, Pre-balding. Yeah, she was already using the soot at this point, but like the hair's there. You know what I mean? She still somewhat made an effort. Whatever. Um, if... But certain things just never will change. Even ugh, the way she like, ugh, and the sounds she makes over the food and everything is still just about the food. And she's awkward as all hell. She can't carry a conversation or make a conversation at all. Those things will never change. She does though, at the beginning, like of her channel at this time, let's say she can put together a thought. It, she hadn't, you know, gotten the cracked out mind yet. She didn't burn all those brain cells yet and stuff. She can start and then finish a sentence. Uh, uh, she eats with less hurry. Interesting. She knew she'd be alone all, for hours. You know, BB was at work. She had the place all to herself. She didn't ha even have to pretend to clean or do anything else at that time. BB would clean. Most of the time, BB would cook. BB will forever be the one that got away. And I stand by that. I love zucchini. Burger. <laughs> I have napkins now. <laughs> so this is just from a local pizza joint.
she used napkins sometimes. Like, who is this? Yeah. Goodbye, Kyle. She loves zucchinis as long as they're battered and deep fried. Oh, she's eating. Okay. On the plate, it's battered fried zucchini strips. That's a burger. And then she's got a lasagna. <laughs> I mean, some things have not changed. Hmm? If you guys are eating, let me know what you're eating. Still, every bite, though, she sticks her hand into the greasy zucchini picks up a piece with her hand, puts it in her mouth. Those fingers immediately touch her hair and then wipe her nose. It's snowing here really badly. <clears throat> I would feel bad like making the delivery guy come here when it's really bad weather. <laughs> She's on my nail. And I always apologize too. I'm always like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I give a good tip. Does anyone believe she's a good tipper? It's such a random thing to say, but I don't think somebody as selfish as Chantal is a good tipper. No. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. So my mukbangs are going to be chatty. I don't know what this whole ASMR thing is with mukbang, but I don't know how I feel about that yet. I'm going to start by doing this kind of like social eating with you guys. I'm not opposed to doing ASMR. If you want to see some, let me know. The irony of her telling us in her first mukbang that she's going to do chatty mukbangs. And we just watched the mukbang, the KFC monstrosity, where she barely says a word. Oh, yeah. Super chatty. But you have to request it because if nobody wants to see it, I'm not going to do it. Right. And um, let me know, like, what? <laughs> I don't even know what to do. If it's just eating noises. For the love of God, man. Seven years later, let me tell you, nobody ever wanted to hear your eating noises. Your eating noises make people sick. They're not as cute as you think they, that they are. Those, those like weird sex noises you make and stuff, sicken people. It's not turning anyone on except for maybe Karate Joe, but that ship has sailed. Hmm? Ugh, the licking of the fingers, though. Mm. This burger's good because it, <laughs> it kind of tastes like homemade, you know? Mm. <laughs> Oh, no. I, yeah, I can't take that either. When she would lick the food in the, like, underside of the nail and stuff. Boo. But I did forget about how much it used to annoy me every time she would take a bite and touch her hair. That was a major, major trigger for years, and I completely forgot about it. And now that we're watching this, I remember it like it was yesterday. It's the only thing. Okay, now she does touch the abayas very, very often still. It's super annoying still. Not the abayas, the hijabs, right? But this is worse. Oh, my God. Every bite she flicks her hair or rubs her nose. What is wrong with her? <sighs> oh, God. Do you think Karate Joe saw her peeps tub uh, only fries and that's what took him out? Doubtful.
I think it's more likely that Karate Joe is one of the people who may have paid for that struggle peeps video. By the way, um, one of the emotes that is under review is an homage to the struggle peeps incident. Uh -huh. I won't tell you what it is until you can see them. <laughs> well, you got an Uber Eats ad? Perfect. Targeted uh, advertising. I like that. So, oh, I love water. <clears throat> so you're probably wondering, like, aren't you worried because you're fat? If you eat this way, are you going to gain weight? Like doing mukbangs and stuff? And I have a video explaining my plan, like, on the days that I don't do mukbangs, I'm going to eat very little, and whatever I eat is going to be healthy. Yeah, that's exactly what she's still saying today. She made a video talking about this last week while she was eating. It's the same exact narrative. It is over six years later. Almost word for word, the same bullshit that she fed us last week. About one meal a day and just being careful when you're not filming. And you can lose weight and do mukbangs. We just literally less than a week ago heard this. <sighs> It's it's over six years ago. This is the first mukbang. She is fucking around. The first mukbang with the same delusional mind that she is right now. Wow. And um, I'm going to be starting a workout routine. Get my ass in shape. I don't know why I like eating in front of the camera. I just love it. I don't know. Like when I first did a mukbang, I was like, it's easy. Why does she like eating in front of the camera? Because these videos took off. If she hadn't started doing mukbangs, I don't know that Chantal, like would our little group exist? Probably not. Cause Chantal's channel wouldn't have existed in the way we know it. It's literally the thing that made her channel take off. Nobody gave a damn to watch her put on makeup and eat her cosmetics and stuff. No, when the mukbang started and it was so sickening and there was so many flaws to her personality, that's when the people started coming to her channel. She thinks she's going to do this twice. No, it was like a miracle that this shit took off the first time. Our boot bang. Whatever. <laughs> I was like, I really like this. Of course, because it's eating, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. And another thing I forgot. So that was half of the reason that she really likes doing mukbangs and eating in front of the camera. What's the other reason? What could it be? Oh, sort of the same reason as now. Hmm. She wasn't working then. She needed to make money somehow. She found an easy way to do it. That would give her attention because by the time she started doing mukbangs, living with BB and stuff, that relationship was already pretty much over. Were they sleeping in separate bedrooms yet? No. But were they probably in a somewhat sexless, sexless relationship already? abso fucking -lutely. At the beginning, when she was still doing the makeup stuff, you could tell there was still a little bit of chemistry between them. There's a video. We watched it together. Him putting on her makeup. There was still a little something there. And it was in that year that the whole relationship went to shit because by the next Thanksgiving, when he goes to Thanksgiving with her at her family's, you can tell there's nothing left there. And he would refuse to pretty much talk to her on camera. He didn't want anything to do with the channel anymore. We would just see the back of his head while he played his video games and stuff. It was over. So not only did she find a way to make some money of her own and try and make her channel take off, but in the same way and for the same reason she does it now, she was stuffing holes because the boyfriend was not doing it anymore. Same fucking thing all these years later. I 
I'm sorry if there's going to be background noise because my boyfriend. Like our TV is right there, so you're going to hear. <laughs> no one was ever bothered by BB in the background. I never minded BB in the background. It was someone. It was like a consistent thing. You know, you'd see BB's head in the back watching his anime shows or whatever. Like, yeah, boyfriend. It was her boyfriend at the time for sure. It's just, I think he had already kind of moved on. It was plotting his escape. You know, I don't know. We have boring lives. <clears throat> he works like all day. He works hard. So when he's not working, he just relaxes. That's right. BB, the, the, the least offensive, let's say, character that's ever existed on Chantal's channel. Made no sound, made no, uh, you know, I would never be like, BB, leave. You know, BB barely came around the camera. It was, I, I don't want to say it was great, but, and let's say every time BB did come on camera or we would catch anything to do with BB, there was something interesting there. Again, something that has been lacking with every other character she's tried to bring in. None of them are interesting. None of them are worth a damn and none of them can do anything, right? Then there was BB. BB who had gone to school and gotten a degree. BB who was working full time. BB who had friends. BB who spoke two languages. Um, BB who really knew how to cook and liked to cook and liked to to share that with her and even with her audience, as much as he didn't like being on camera, he was so proud of like his mafe, his recipes and stuff. BB was a fucking gem and BB had some really, really good qualities, qualities that she'll never be able to find in somebody like that again. Mm -hmm. That is out in front of the tube. He absolutely was Bambi. Uh, you know what? He really, really was. She doesn't realize it yet. Uh, time will come. She'll she'll be sobbing for all oh, the men and blah, blah, blah. and she'll cry for Bibi for sure. And hopefully by then, you know, Bibi will be married. He'll have his kids. Yeah, I I hope to God that sometimes Bibi tunes in. We know Bibi likes the weed. He loves to smoke. Okay. I picture it. Sometimes BB's come home from work late. He doesn't have any plans. Rolls up a J, chills, you know, and goes like, I wonder what that heifer's up to. And just flicks on the YouTube just for like a minute, just for shits and gigs. And every time he dips in for a minute into her channel, there's something else like fucking insane going on. You know what I mean? Dip in once the crackhead Olympics. Dip in a second time. She's like, screaming uh, racist tirades from Cuba. Dip in again. Now she's got a uh, hijab on. Like, and he probably just sits there stone, laughing his ass off, then turns off the TV like it was never his problem. You know what I mean? Started into this because I love watching people eat. Oh, I'm sorry for all the quick pauses, but I see some people in the chat like, how much did she weigh here? She was in the 300s. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it was something around 350, 360, something like that. Um, there's a period after this where she goes to the gym and we see her in like a tight outfit. Now, I mean, she's not skinny by any means, but when you see her, you know, the profile from the side, it's nowhere near what it is now. Just that, that like girth from the side, you know, no, 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 no. She, she did balloon up after BB, like you guys are saying. I, I believe the last year that she was at BB's house, you can really watch the weight pack on in that last year. She knew it was over. She knew her fate was going to be going to that fucking villa or wherever she would end up with Pete's. She was very depressed. And then she had the hysterectomy, which depressed her. Like it, it's like it compounded the depression at the time, because if you guys remember, BB really wanted kids. And I think that Chantal really did think, even when he had like gently broken up with her and stuff, I'm still in the house. They were still living together somewhat as roommates, but almost like she could get him back. She's sick. Just like she thought with Koki. I'm sure she thought, thought that with BB too. Then when she actually had the hysterectomy, I think she realized like, ah, I'm not going to be able to get him back now because his dream was to have kids, you know? Mm. I devoured that burger. Like, I was so hungry. I was getting mad because, like, recent, like in our building, you need you have a, we have a buzzer. 
to get in. And um, yeah, so recently I got a new phone number, okay? Sour cream in my hair. Yes, please. And uh, the office, I forgot to tell the office to change the buzzer code. Cause like whenever they, someone comes to the door, they buzz my apartment number and then it goes to my phone and I let them in. Well, I forgot to tell them about my new number. No, uh, Bambi, she was just lazy. Like, sorry to say it, but it's true. Again, we watched her battle. She had cysts. Okay. She refused to go and have it treated. She kept putting off and putting off surgery to get them removed. And she would go on these cockamamie, like, reading these stupid fucking books from these like fucking hippie dippy like lunatics you know like oh eat this herb and it'll solve your fucking problems and stuff and she would preach that shit but not even ever do that stuff and she was convinced for a long time that she was gonna quote heal her cysts with raw eating remember the raw diets all that bullshit she did that shit for so long she never actually did the diets but just talking about it and talking about it. The water fast, exactly. The juice cleanses, the fruit cleanses, the raw diet only, veganism. Uh, she thought she would cure it herself is what she told everybody. I think she was scared and she was lazy. And so she let certain things medically fester for so long that by the time she had pain enough to go and take care of them, there was only so much that could be done. Well, I had it changed yesterday, so it should be working today, right? Well, <clears throat> the food took longer to get here, probably because of the roads. So I don't, I don't blame them. But then he buzzed me, and I let him in. You know, when she went to visit BB, I remember um, Capricorn NJ. It was it, full middle of Crackhead Olympics. It was on one of the like, I'm breaking up with Koki, but I'm also still fucking flying high on cocaine moments. And he had apparently, he he did invite her over because she went live for, if I'm remembering right, about five or 10 minutes just to prove to everyone that she was like hanging out with BB, right? And BB apparently told her that she's a crackhead now. You remember she told us? BB's not wrong, shit. And nothing for like five or 10 minutes. And I'm like, where did he go? Did he just like poof, vanish into thin air? Like, I don't understand. And of course. Yes, that's so true. Holy shit. Of course. She used the BB visit to try and make Koki jealous. Absolutely. God, nobody was ever jealous, but she would always try. My God, that's funny. It's like a whole other lifetime ago. Instead of going out and checking. Mostly because I don't want to put a bra on and go out there. <laughs> and, um, yeah. And then maybe 10 minutes later, he buzzes me again. So I let him in. And then this time he came to the door, but I'm like, what were you doing for that 10 minutes? Anyway. So I was kind of annoyed. <laughs> I was kind of like... Oh man, I really do get the pauses sometimes. Eh? Yeah, exactly. She was uh, pretending to talk to him all the time and that he would give her advice. And to this day, I really think that who she was talking to all the time was her stupid Uncle Phil. And Uncle Phil was the one giving her advice. But instead of being like, I'm always talking to my aunt, it, it, for her, it was like some proving the community wrong or something by being like, no, it's BB. I don't believe it was BB. There was some crazy fucking advice given sometimes. Who do we know in the story that's certifiable besides Chantal? Uncle Phil. BB had a really like logical head on his shoulders. BB didn't come out with cockamamie like half wit plans and stuff. That's a Soro. You're talking about half wits. You're keeping it in the Funkel family. You know, I still would bet anything it was Uncle Phil. Mm. Last one. Oh my God. Hmm. 
so oily. You still ate them all? You didn't dab them on a paper towel or anything? And why did you hold up the plate, girl? We can see you ate them all. No one's surprised. We see the plate. This isn't some like food eating competition where you have to hold up the plate at the end. Relax. She's actually smiling. She's stuffing her face on fried food. Why wouldn't she be smiling? Okay. I have been craving this. There's this YouTuber I watch. Okay. Sorry, I'm editing out. I had to blow my nose. Um, excuse me. <laughs> um, by the way, if you're grossed out by things like eating noises and like a burp here and there, you might not want to watch because... <clears throat> the hungry fat chick. I don't know if you guys watch her, but she eats a lot of food and that's her thing, right? Ma'am, so do you. Like, yeah, hungry fat chick does eat a lot of food. Sh Chantal just ate right in front of us a whole thing of uh, fried zucchini and uh, what do you call? I've lost all sense of the words. The burger. I forgot the word burger. Like, that's it. That's beyond a meal. You ate a lot of those zucchinis and they're fried and greasy, like you just said. She's now opening. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. She's opening more and it's not some small thing. There's a, that whole thing is a lasagna. She's about to fuck up a lasagna for three people, too. Some things never change. She's so cute. Her name is Candy. She has like this cute, like, bangs and like, obviously, she's very large, but. So am I. <laughs> she's she's so cute. You guys should check her channel out. And she eats like she had like a video up there, Italian feast. And I was just like, she had a whole like she had a big ass cheese pizza. She didn't eat the whole thing, but she had a lasagna, a spaghetti, garlic bread. Salad. We just watched her eat two pizzas yesterday. Well, she didn't eat the whole thing. Chantal just ate two pizzas the other day. You're sitting there talking about a fat woman who can eat. Girl, you're a fat woman who can eat. You're opening a lasagna. Now, this is like dinner number two. And at this time, Chantal didn't have that many subs on her channel, right? Her, her telling people like, oh, you should go and check out Candy. That's a joke. She could be saying that about your channel. Like, I have a feeling anybody who was watching Chantal stuff her face at this point knew exactly who Hungry Fat Chick was. Go check out her channel. She probably already had like a few hundred thousand subs. Alid. And I was just like, that made me so fucking hungry. So I got lasagna. <laughs> but I'm kind of full. I'll eat some of it. I Somebody commented on one of my other mukbangs. Why don't you chew your food when you eat? <laughs> Good question. I eat too fast. Okay. We're going to see what this lasagna is like because it seems cheesy. There's meat sauce and noodles. I don't see any like vegetables. Just like put some fucking veggies in it, you know? Like, anyway. You're complaining about the lack of veggies in your lasagna? Jesus fucking Christ, man. Oh my God. No, no fork. She won't get up to get a fork. She's going to eat a lasagna with a spoon. She doesn't want any vegetables. I know, but she likes to sound skinny. She always has. See, she hadn't developed the low BMI voice. These, This was the early days. She would just say ridiculous shit like that sometimes. And she thought everyone would like, oh, yeah, no, she's skinny. Because she would be looking for veggies or eat a fucking mango. I don't know if you guys like that noise. <laughs> like, what the hell? Uh... You might not want to come on camera naked. My boyfriend just got out of the shower. He's like walking in here. I'm like, okay, I have some prime cheese. I, should, I don't know. I, I like need veggies in my lasagna. <laughs> I don't know. Like... She adds more cheese to it. The last thing that thing needs is more cheese. I don't know, like, I need veggies in my, like, lasagna. She's insane. Always has been, always will be, and always has thought that the audience are morons. Look, six, six years ago, and she's talking to the viewers like they're fucking idiots who can't see. Well, it's kind of like, you know? I mean, 
for the love of God, go and get a fork, toddler. I think a spoon because I wanted to get all the sauce and everything. Can we just go back to her first bite of lasagna for a second? You tell me. As she goes to wrap her mouth around that thing, it doesn't look like she's going in for a blowjob. It looks like she's giving eye contact to a wiener. And she's about to go in for a BJ. Not a bite of lasagna. I'm using a spoon because I wanted to get all the sauce and everything. Uh, right before it hits her tongue. That, that's, that's BJ face. That has nothing to do with lasagna. Oh my God, man. Again, some things will never change. The only thing that has changed is what's sitting on her head. There used to be hair and soot, and now there's a, a hijab. Nothing else is different. Hmm. The sauce is pretty tasty. Goodbye, Kyle. That's what she said. You... I see a green pepper, a green pepper. Very messy. Mm -hmm. mm. It's not bad. Are you okay? <laughs> we moved a um, little table from the living room into the bedroom. I thought that would be like a better place for me to go because it's quiet. But it just wasn't working out, so we're bringing it back in. This place we'll have to do for now. Your food's on the counter. Is it? I don't, I don't know. I can almost taste that lasagna in my mind, and it's not good. There's something about that cheese. Ugh. Just a fucking bunch of mozzarella on top. Ugh. I bet I bet that's one of those shitty ass fucking lasagnas. I like a lasagna if it's done right. I don't like this. This is just a waste. Well, I don't know what to talk about. I wish this was like interactive where there was like, you know, unless I went live, but I don't have that many a few people watching me so it would probably be about yeah my theory on this food okay the we saw the amount of zucchinis i think that was like a family size serving so let's say four people you could say this lasagna too could easily be cut in four everybody gets a nice serving of lasagna she ordered herself a burger when bb was there either bb would make his food or she would order like food also for bb so there's something probably ordered for him. And I wonder if she ordered herself a pizza too to eat off camera. You never know. Because this looks like pizzeria style food. She ordered meals for families. Even then. Like, yeah, it is what it is. And she really, really thought she could do this every day without gaining any weight. In fact, lose some. By myself anyway. The sauce is really good, but they need to put more. Like, they didn't put that much sauce. But it is pretty cheesy. I mean, it's not that cheesy. I've had more cheesy, but... Yeah, it's like there's not much to a lasagna, right? So every part is, it's like, important. For example, the gravy, the sauce, whatever. It's got to be good because, again, there's not much to it. So the quality of that sauce... The quality of that gravy means a lot, right? You can't convince me that at a, just a random shitty pizza place in a sub, what, and no, yeah, no, they lived at that time. I don't think you're going to get such a quality lasagna. Huh? She also wasn't making like money on YouTube then. So she wasn't ordering hundred dollar meals. They're probably looking for the biggest specials they could find. And I, I don't know, that lasagna, is, I don't think it's it, no probably a good thing <laughs> it 
it was just like big and cheap so she could do a mukbang with it you know <laughs> That's what happens when you eat too fast, you get full really quickly. <laughs> mm, cheesy lasagna, goodness. If there's anything you want me to try or review, you can let me know. I'm always up to try new things. So I guess let's talk favorite food. Like, I have to say. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Acting full in front of BB. It wasn't just for BB, though. At this time, it was for everybody watching it was for all of us the audience right Chantal did this for a long time a long time again it, it, she thought if she said certain things or we would think she was skinny and we would think our eyes were just deceiving us when we would look at her things like I'm I'm just I'm full I'm not gonna eat anymore or you know there'll be two bites of like a whole heaping plate food of full of of food two bites left on the plate and she'll be like, that's it guys. I just can't eat anymore. As if you don't look down and see the two bites and you think, you know, she just, she was a little peckish and she just went at that plate a little bit. <sighs> she did that for years. She still does that from time to time, but now like I'm just full you guys. And then is going to eat a whole ass lasagna. It was for the audience. We wouldn't then notice that she ate the whole lasagna my top three favorite things to eat <clears throat> obviously the first one is exactly cheesy. oh my god yeah the the probably the most perfect example that salad really filled me up bullshit cheese is any kind of cheese too like just like a cheese platter with like some crackers or some like crusty bread with some wine that's like my favorite or like pizza obviously <laughs> like pizza it's cheesy um i also love pad thai or like spicy noodles like rice noodles with like a spicy peanut sauce and like um sriracha I'm oh the sunflower seeds make her full now yeah 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 she barely eats them you know why she's got half a mouth of teeth sunflower seeds you need some teeth huh what the hell is she going to do? Gum at them? Obsessed with sriracha. Like, I love sriracha to death. Yeah. So, I just like all food, but still. I don't know if I can eat much more of this, guys. I'm getting pretty full. I guess I can eat some later. <clears throat> Don't have to finish it. <laughs> you, you just, you reminded me of something. She can blend them into paste. Okay. So here's what I did one time. You know, they sell those little jars of like the organic uh, peanut butters and shit like that. So I'm looking at those and there was sunflower butter, like just pulverized sunflower seeds i was intrigued and i bought it and then i got high and i sat watching tv with a little spoon and the the jar of that shit making little beads on the end of my spoon that were kind of like the size of a sunflower seed and like meh, putting them on my tongue and i realized in that like that was one of the fattest laziest things i've ever done in my life i wanted the sunflower seed in the size of a sunflower seed, but my fat ass wouldn't sit up and just open the fucking sunflower seeds and chew them. I wanted to take them down my gullet like a seagull. Shit. Do you want some of this? Do you want some? Lasagna. My boyfriend hates lasagna. No, he doesn't hate lasagna, but he doesn't really like pasta or pizza. Weird, huh? <laughs> mm. 
No, I didn't eat butter. Butter, well, I don't even like butter. It was sunflower seed butter, like peanut butter, but made with sunflower seeds, you know? Oh my God, I didn't even have to chew. I didn't even have to work my teeth. There was no seeds all around me and stuff. Fat. So the sauce is like really um, tomato-y, but like fresh. It doesn't taste like it's from a jar. I hate, like, I don't mind jar sauce, but I prefer fresh and homemade, obviously. So this tastes, and there's like chunks of tomato, and it's pretty meaty, so it's, it's really good. Six years and something later, and now she's a housewife, y'all. She doesn't have to work. All she has to do is housewife things. So instead of making the sauce that six years ago she acknowledged is better than the fucking jar, she's now living in a cell, locked in from the outside, heating up her ragu. <laughs> My nose is stuffy. But I think if you want veggies in your lasagna, you have to you have to specify. You have to get, I think it's called the like whatever the restaurant name is. Um the vegetarian lasagna? Huh? You might have no meat and maybe some veg in it. Crazy idea, eh? Ding, 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 ding. You have to get their special lasagna, baked lasagna. And I think it comes with like pepperoni, green peppers, mushrooms. Ugh. But I'm not, I wasn't feeling the pepperoni. Like I, ugh, no, I don't, I don't really like pepperoni. I probably have watched her eat a hundred thousand pieces of pepperoni pizza in these years. I don't really like pepperoni guys. She doesn't like pepperoni, so she doesn't like sweets. Especially not in lasagna, like. <clears throat> I know some of you might like that, but not to moi, not at all. Look, she's using her talon to get pieces onto the spoon. <laughs> maybe I should use a fork. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Am I making you guys hungry or grossed out? <laughs> She also, she mangled the shit out of that lasagna. That looks so gross. I mean, I can see totally why someone would think this is weird. Like, like I said, people either love or hate mukbangs. <laughs> but you know what? At the end of the day, it's a thing now on the internet, so get over it. <laughs> you know, like, if you don't like it, don't watch it. I don't know why people watch, and then they're like, ew. Like, don't fucking watch it <laughs> if you don't. She still says that all the time, too. <laughs> I don't want to. That boggles the mind. Like, there must be something else you can do. Well, I think this is going to be my last bite. I ate all the cheese off, so I'm probably actually not even going to eat the rest of this. <clears throat> right now, anyway, I'll, like, probably keep it and just, like, I don't like wasting food. Like, I feel really bad. So I'll find something to do with it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, wait till baby, uh, baby, BB leaves and... Like, maybe put veggies in it? Oh, my God. One green pepper. Like, one green pepper. That was an epic last bite. <laughs> If I could explain to you how full I am, <laughs> uh, I need a nap now.
okay. Okay, that's enough. Listen, it's over there. That that was her first mukbang. It was gross. Her jaw was clicking. They're as nasty now as they've ever been. She uses the exact same narratives. Nothing at all has changed. She's always been so delusional. She told us the same thing last week, that she can absolutely lose weight doing mukbangs every day. All she has to do is one meal a day and control what she's eating when she's not on video. The same thing that she was saying over six years ago. That woman is an absolute wreck and she always has been, but she used to hide it a little better than now. And now it's a wreck on full display. Crazy. <clears throat> now, for the PS de resistance, hmm? the masterpiece for tonight, we will be taking a look at the original telling of the story of the homeless lover in Cornwall. I'm so excited. We did this whole live just so we can watch this one together. Let me get the tab. All right. It is called Before Payday Meal. It's like a struggle meal of what's left in the fridge. <laughs> My homeless lover story time. July 30th, 2017. So, it's like the day before payday. Ooh! And, Wait a uh, shush, shush, Chantal, before you get into it with your weird empty fridge. Thank you for the hype train, guys. I hadn't opened the, the page of freaking Twitch in a while. I didn't see it. Thank you for the hype train. Yay! This is what I have in my fridge. That pot, I don't even know what's in there. I don't want to look. I have some ginger. I think ginger and applesauce makes a good supper. <sighs> Find something. Foodie beauties. Well, this is going to be a hell of a mukbang, but <laughs> I promised I would hammer out more more content. No, I just, I don't know. I don't like eating alone anymore. It's like a, it, I don't know. It's a weird thing now. No, no, no. She was being honest the first time. She wanted to hammer out more content because this is content. So, so this is um, the like you know day before payday. Oh fuck! No, it's not. It's two days before payday. Looks like I'm gonna have to eat ginger and applesauce. I think I have some pasta in the cupboard, but you know. I, I'm just eating leftovers. Like, you know, it's like two days before payday. You saw what I have in the fridge. I'm just kind of winging it. I found in the freezer some fish to make BB with rice. So what I'm going to eat is some cherry tomatoes. This um, leftover macaroni salad, which I don't even know if it's still good. It's been in there. I don't know. It looks chunky, but maybe if I mix it. If you have to sniff things twice, that means the first sniff really did tell you everything you needed to know. It smells a little off. You don't eat things with like mayo and eggs in them and stuff. Oh, for the love of God. And never mix the chunks into the food. For the I hope she was kidding. She's probably not kidding. It's part of why she's always on the toilet. <laughs> it says August 3rd. Wait, let me make sure of that. Thumbs down. Oh, Best before August 2nd. Good. I have a couple days. Oh, and some meatless chicken strips from Gardein. I think they're made with tofu. And this is some craft beer chipotle barbecue sauce. Because I'm I'm actually just eating these for the barbecue sauce. I like the sauce more than the <laughs> Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. <laughs> that song in my head. Ever since seeing that guy with the mullet, I have 80s music in my head. Thanks a lot, pal. All right. So let's dig in. I'd give you guys a bite, but I don't think you want one. <laughs> I don't think you want one, trust me. I'll save it for a good, a, a good meal. Okay, so yeah, so I told you, I, I promised I would tell you about 
Oh my God. Yeah, the dog just came running over to me, bit my toe, and then ran away and was when like a safe distance out of the room, but it like I could see him through the door. He turns around and looks at me like, come and get me, bitch. Oh my God, he's so bad. I swear to God, sometimes I wonder if Ollie got like reincarnated into this guy. They are the same. Okay, I'll let you try the chicken nuggets. Bye. It bit me hard. Like, <laughs> hmm. Not bad. Tastes like chicken fingers. Hmm. I'm kind of afraid to eat this, but mm. not bad. Macaroni salad. So my homeless lover. Okay, I mean, who here? Raise your hand. Yerne has been horny and lonely after going to a bar and getting drunk. Me. <laughs> which is part of the reason I'm, I'm afraid to be single. I know it has its benefits and everything, but whenever I was single, I was bitter because of those nights, you know? I'm older now, so it might be different, but anyway. Um, <clears throat> uh, no, she was not working anymore at this point. And when she's talking about payday, she's talking about BB's payday. <laughs> so basically... Um, it was a night when I was going with this one girlfriend of mine to this local bar. Um, there was a band playing that I really liked. It was like a local band. Mm. Oh my God, who was the friend? It's not Shannon. I've asked Shannon about this homeless uh, story time and whatever. Who the hell could the friend be? There was no friends. I also have a story about how I stalked somebody in a band. <laughs> Most story time tellers tell about how they were stalked. I was the stalker. <laughs> Anyways. No, I'm not proud. It just is what it is. <laughs> so. No friend, no bar. Just like the homeless guy on a rock. It could be. I don't know. Um. We're going to see this band. I really like them. Local, kind of local band, you know, from the area. Not famous or anything, but that's some good hits. So, oh my god! So, like local band from Corinth. I wonder where she went to see them. I wonder if they were playing at the Loose Caboose. So anyway. Go to the get to the bar. I'm already we're already half in the bag, acting like idiots. I don't know how people could stand me when I'm drunk. The band I was freaking out because we, as we were going in the bar, the band was walking in behind us, and I was like, "Oh my god, are you in the band?" And the guy was like, one of the guys imitated me. He's like, "Oh my god, yes, I'm in the band." <laughs> Anyway, so that was a fun time, you know. Then, you know, it came around to the bar closing, and I got that feeling like, oh, I don't want to go home, and I want to get laid, you know. This tastes good. I don't know if it's good, though, but anyway, if I don't do a mukbang tomorrow, you know why? So... I decide, I'm like, my friend was like, well, I got to go home, you know, like. This was a while ago, probably like. I think I was like 19, maybe. Anyway. The, um. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll walk you home. I don't want to go home yet. So, my friend lived, like, where I where I had to walk her home. You had to go down by the water. There's, like, this path, like, this, like, 
bike path down by the water. Probably dangerous at the time, yeah. But um, there's a lot of homeless people and stuff that hang out there. And uh, it's known to be dangerous, but whatever. So I walked her home. And as I was coming back the same way, I was drunk. I was fearless. I was drunk. I was fearless. Girl, either everybody messed with her or nobody messed with her. Because from every story that Shannon has told me about Cornwall, it's a real shithole. I'm very sorry, people of Cornwall. I don't mean to dog on your city. But facts are facts, okay? There's a lot of fucking crackheads for such a tiny population. Something doesn't work out there. Way too many crackheads for such a tiny population. So, yeah, if it was really that scary and dangerous over there, something weird that nobody fucked with Chantal if she was actually there. That's okay. Uh, and let's be real. Nobody's kidnapping a fat chick. Just too much work. <laughs> so, as I'm walking home, I see this guy. Not, he wasn't too scruffy looking, but he was kind of scruffy, you know. Um, he was carrying like a, a shopping bag and it had like DVDs in it, probably to pawn them. That was the most Cornwall sentence I've ever heard. Go on. And I comes up to him, he's like, do you have a light? And I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. And when I got to see him, he had a re his name was Todd. Oh, my God, that was what I was thinking, too. But I didn't know if anybody was like, you know, knew that or followed that. Yeah. Are you sure they were going to pawn them and not sell them on eBay on their thriving eBay store? He was really cute. He looked like Brad Renfro. Does any do any of you know who he is? Rest in peace, Brad Renfro. I'm still I can, still can't believe he passed away. Has anyone seen the movie Ghost World? Anyway, so oh, I'm sorry. See, when we're talking about the attic, there's so many things to do with DVDs. I thought we were making jokes about the eBay. You're making jokes about the actual assess accessory to the robbery of the actual DVD store. Oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> what a fucking bum. And again, just because you get something taken off your record doesn't mean you didn't do the crime. Um, we start talking and I was just like, I was attracted to him, you know? And I think he just, I don't know, he just really wanted some or something, you know? So like, let's go sit on the rock and, uh, you know, have a cigarette. You know, my cigarettes, but whatever. He was homeless, give him a break. You know, got to find out he was homeless, and he told me a bit about him, about himself. He said he got he was staying on, got kicked out of his dad's. His dad was an abusive asshole, so he's been couch surfing. But his friend's girlfriend was like, you know, you can't stay here, you know. So there he was in between places. So um, he was gonna just wander around and sleep on a park bench, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I didn't really care. I was just like, give me that D. No, I'm kidding. Give me some vitamin. Ooh, that was the most aggressive thing. I want to put that clip to her in the hijab. <laughs> Give me that D as she looks over at salad. <laughs> you couldn't get it then and you're not getting it now. Him and D, boy. Yeah, he was really cute. So, um. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, what if? What if uh, the original idea to pay men's rent for sex came from this homeless guy when she's like, you want a bone? And he's like, you want to set me up in an apartment and pay my rent? And she's like, I can't afford it. And he's like, come and talk to me when you can. For now, I'll do you once on this rock and we'll call it a day. And that stuck with her her whole life. So she's like, she meets the next borderline homeless, Koki. And she's like, you know what? 
An old crackhead taught me a long ass time ago. All I have to do is pay your rent and you will give me the gonorrhea infested, drippy, nasty, pussy D. <sighs> That's where it was born from. Mm -hmm. It was a really gentle kisser. We found a rock, a big rock. And uh, we did it on the rock near the harbor. <laughs> like the, not the harbor, but, you know, it was like a, a boat dock thing. Um, really oh my God. Yeah, I got to get, I got to get Shannon. Shannon says the rock's not there anymore. It's like changed over there, but we, we have to go around court. We have to go to the location of, this alleged rock. <laughs> Bad at descriptions. This is why I can't be a writer. I would be writing and I'd be describing a location and I'd be like, there was a house with a window and a thing, you know? <laughs> so. I'm still going to be hungry after this, I can tell. <laughs> So anyways, I'm drinking water, ice water. So <clears throat> we do it. I mean, I know what you're thinking. What did he smell like? That's what I would wonder. He didn't smell too homeless. Like, you know, he smelled a little, little, little bit like malt vinegar, but. In the arms of the angel. That's it. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a sentence is he didn't smell too homeless <laughs> but he smelled like malt vinegar oh my god i'm gonna puke and you got a whiff of that and he got a whiff of blue cheese and you were both still like kate let's do this thing yeah no I think it was coming from his feet and not his privates, so. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's worse. That was good, you know. Um, we use protection. Oh, always use protection. If you're going to be a skank, use protection. If you're going to be a skank, use protection. If you're going to let a homeless, you know, fuck you on a rock, I, I, <laughs> there's not enough to protect it in the whole world, girl. Oh, my God. Uh, the second that malt vinegar smell hits your nose. Uh, what if they're both just puking the whole time? I'm joking, guys. Um, yeah, that was that. So he was my, um, homeless lover. Slept, had a one-nighter with a random homeless guy. I guess he wasn't really a lover because I, I don't know what's a lover. Like I didn't have sex with him more than once, you know, I just left and I don't know what became of him. No, um, maybe it's just me. I would never classify a homeless person that you fucked once on a rock as a lover. But. No. <laughs> so. So that was a quick mukbang. I know. And story, but um, oh my god, I like it. You know, if I put a shorter video out, video out, I try to do two short videos in a day. If the video is not going to be like thirty minutes, you know what I mean. Um, just to be fair to you guys, I know you understand. If one day I can, if I'm sick or something, you know. So anyway, that's that. So. I hope you guys enjoyed. This barbecue sauce is really good. I don't know. 
I don't know if I have anything else I can put barbecue sauce on in this house. <laughs> Those chicken nuggets were good. Uh, they were really good. They kind of had the consistency of like a gin mat, but. Oh, but they're no, they're good. Sounds delicious. You really know how to sell them. All right. I, I had forgotten how to put up polls, but I figured it out. Everybody vote in the poll. What's worse? The flavor was there. The breading was crispy. The Gardein, the Gardein meatless products are great. And they're not the healthiest. So um, they're vegan junk food, um, vegetarian junk food. No, I think Gardein is vegan. But um, I'm just eating. I, I mean, I have no vegetables. Well, I have a, I don't even think that cauliflower is good anymore. It's been there for like a week. But I have no other fruits and veggies, you know. Those go first because they're perishable, so. Yeah, the cauliflower still look good, and it was only there for a week. Cauliflowers can last. She just didn't want to cook anything, and she didn't want to eat a vegetable. She'd rather eat that garden shit. <sighs> Come on, payday. <laughs> Anyways, I guess that's it. I don't you guys remember that stupid hee hee, hee hee. And then she had gone over for the first video she made at her mom's house for the holiday. And her mom does the exact same hee hee. And they would like, they set each other off laughing. So it was just like hee hee, hee hee, hee hee. So stupid. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow for my mukbang. <laughs> it's really going to be interesting. <laughs> I'm going to have to get really creative. I don't want to order out and spend money. I don't. Um, and I don't want to spend money before payday because I'm trying really hard to stick to a budget. Like I never do. I, you know, this happens, you know, ma'am, stop. You had no money. I don't want to spend any more money as if it was a choice. You broke, you didn't have any. And if you wanted more money to spend, you would have had to go up way back then even and beg your mother or beg Pete's for a loan. I didn't want to spend any more money. Get the hell out of here. If you're living paycheck to paycheck when you're pulling in $20,000 a month and flexing about that number to people, how the fuck were you not living paycheck to paycheck when your channel was barely monetized? Stop it. I, I don't follow my budget. I end up spending way too much money. I go over budget. Um... And, you know, eating out, like I'll even have to start budgeting in my mukbangs. Like, I think that's what smart people do. You know, they say, okay, this is, I have this two weeks and I have these days I'm doing mukbangs, you know, so I'm going to start doing like a plan of what food I'm going to do on what days and factor that into the budget and stick to that, you know, instead of just randomly. Yeah, she had explained at this time um, that BB was pretty much paying for all the expenses at the house. And yes, she was making some money on YouTube, a very small amount that she says was only really being used to, for the mukbang food to like re put into the channel. Right. I don't know. Is that true? Who knows? Going out and being like, Oh, I'm going to eat today at Mr. Sub tomorrow. I'm going to eat Pad Thai. You know what I mean? So yeah, just thought I'd share that with you. You probably don't care anyway. Um, thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you for being free beauties. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Jesus, that was loud. Get the hell. Oh, wait. Before you get the hell out of here, look at the pictures. The pictures, the crazy pictures have never changed. Yeah. Who's that? Exactly. Exactly. It's the same as now, you know, the end screen for her videos. Sometimes it's that stupid cartoon that she thinks she really looks like.